Hi, welcome to a quick video. I thought I'd show you what I've been making for the granddaughter. And it's obvious, or should be obvious to some of you, it's a sound to light system. It's only two channel. This is the treble and this is the bass. This comes in roughly one kilohertz. The, the bass works at 20, 30 hertz all the way up to 150, 200 and starts dropping off and that's when the treble starts coming in up near one kilohertz. Let me give you some test tones. This is a hundred hertz. Not sure if this camera will pick it up. One hundred hertz. Five hundred hertz. But the higher the frequency gets, this these get brighter and the lower the frequency gets, these get brighter, this top and bottom one. I was going to make like a three, four, five channel, but then I realized I'd need a PCB to hold all the components. The original idea was to make a quick sound to light, just some flashing lights for the granddaughter. She's only eight or nine. And I thought there's no point making it complicated. And if I make it complicated and I'll show it to you guys, half of you won't be able to do it unless you've got a PCB and a hundred components. So I'll show you the quick and dirty way I got this going. I'm using an Electret microphone that costs a pound from eBay. These four QTX bulbs, they're 60 watts, 80 millimeter diameter. You can get a hundred watt. There's a five volt power supply in there. I initially had the microphone amplifier running off four AA batteries. But then I've, I bought one of these. These are only £1.50, £2. So that does away with the batteries. We've got a microphone. I'll show you on the circuit drawing. There's a quad operational amplifier in there. I'm using two of the amplifiers. And I've got two mains transformers. They're not connected to the mains as such. The transformers are being switched on with a transistor from this circuit down here. And the transformers simply boost the signal from the op amp and drive a silicon controlled rectifier, SER, otherwise known as a thyristor. As I say quick and dirty, this is another method. I could have obviously soldered these wires to the thyristor or SER, silicon controlled rectifier, but I thought this is another way of doing it. Four lamp holders, these are screw thread, four lamp holders from eBay. These cost about four or five pound for the lot of them, took a couple of weeks to come. This is actually the worst part about this build because as you screw the bulb in they tend to twist a bit and the angle of the bulb alters so they're a bit cheap and nasty. As I say these are four or five pound for four in this country the 12 pound each. Why this bulb moving is annoying you'll see when I put the front on these have got to line up with the front. So again, I'll show you the circuit. There's a potentiometer sticking out at the back, 470K. This potentiometer controls the sensitivity. And I've got the mains coming in over here, protected with the three amp fuse. Didn't have any strain relief, so I've tied a knot in the cable. So these cheap power supplies from eBay, they actually emit quite a lot of noise. So I moved that up here away from the sensitive microphone circuit and there's a sensitive microphone circuit with the shortest lead possible but that's got to come out the front of the case let me show you the circuit and it might all make sense if i show you the transformer i purchased first i bought two of these when i purchased these they were two pound 92 each they've since gone up to three pound 58 because you don't want to spend a ton of money on a transformer so I would, yeah, two of these, and you can simply bolt them down with the holes on the brackets there. These are the bulb holders I purchased, just took a week or so to come. £6.45 for four. Well, before I forget, sensitive gate silicon controlled rectifier. Got these from RS Components. So they're capable of driving four amps at 240 volts. You see they're rated at 600 volts here. 
When you turn the gate on, say 1 or 2 volts, these will conduct the positive half cycle and not the negative half cycle. So these 60 watt bulbs are effectively, with this SER, they are half the power because we lose the negative half cycle. This will conduct the positive half cycle as it falls down to the zero crossing point and then starts going negative, this will turn off. This is my circuit drawing. So if you want a cheap and simple sound to light, you could get one of those transformers, connect the 240 volt side to the right hand side to the triac and connect what would normally be the output, connect that straight to a headphone jack. So if you've got a sound, if you've got a surround sound amplifier on your TV, stereo, DVD player, whatever, you can plug this into that amplifier. The transformer isolates everything from your amplifier. So not only does the transformer boost the signal, it isolates it. That's the important thing with this transformer. It isolates the signal. You then use a 1K resistor to the gate, put the 240 volts live or 110 if you're in a Europe and US, put the power to the center pin, and then the thread would go to the anode of the thyristor. So when you put a small voltage on the gate, the thyristor starts conducting and connects this side to ground. So you've got a complete circuit, turns the light on. That's the basics of the circuit. I chose to use a microphone, a microphone amplifier, and then a simple transistor to turn on the transformer. So those electret microphones, they've got a JFET internally with the varying sound on the electret microphone, you get a varying current. These parts marked six volts should be five volts. As I say, I was running off batteries. Five volts, you connect the microphone to a five volt supply via something like a 10K resistor. As the microphone picks up sound, you get a varying current through this resistor, connect a capacitor, current flows this way, connect this capacitor to the inverting input of an op amp, set the non-inverting to half the supply. I chose that method to overcome whatever threshold you need to turn on the base of this NPN transistor. It just keeps it simple. Now I had 22K resistors to hand. If you want to run it off batteries, you can put 47K or uh, 200K resistors here. A small capacitor if you've got one just to stabilize this voltage. This main potentiometer on the back, this will give you full gain when the potentiometer is up at 470K. As you reduce this resistance, the gain falls and so does the voltage at this point fall. I've got tip 120, they are Darlington pairs. So it's one transistor, but effectively two transistors inside, which makes it high gain. So you connect your five volts to the collector, the emitter straight to the transformer, the base to your signal from the op amp. This 10K resistor and this 230 nanofarad act as a filter so that this first transformer only turns on with the base frequencies. It's actually sub bass. So almost inaudible. So from about 20 hertz up to one or 200 hertz, this transistor will turn on past current through the secondary of this transformer. That voltage will be boosted ever so slightly. You drive that current through a 1K resistor into the gate of the SER and you get your base light flashing. There are more elaborate ways. You can put a, you could put a capacitor here, for example, and as the frequency increases, the resistance of that capacitor would decrease, which would decrease the amplification as the frequency goes higher. But since I've got a two channel, I need all the power coming from here to go to the second op amp. So I chose a filter here. So normal tip 120 transistor, simple op amp for the microphone. So this is the top side of that thyristor, SER. You've got the th cathode, anode, and a gate on the right. You're not using this transformer to get nine volts or 240 or anything like that. You're, you're using it primarily to isolate your microphone side from the high voltage side, but it does 
effectively boost the small signal here. That's my base circuit and it's just repeated down here except I don't have a microphone now. I've got that amplified microphone signal coming in here 10k resistor same 470 preset potentiometer on the board 5 volts not 6 volts everywhere but this time because I want to conduct the high frequencies this is a, this is a high pass filter 3.3 nanofarad and a 4k 70 ground so only high frequencies get through here and you saw me I demonstrated that earlier so this is sort of cheap and cheerful except it's not that cheap because I've used expensive transformers because my ones from eBay haven't arrived yet and it's been weeks and weeks I wanted to get the system together if you want something cheap and cheerful just connect a jack plug to the transformer don't forget to swap the transformer you turn it around put your signal on the secondary side the output is the primary that can drive the thyristor and it keeps your system isolated now as I say I can make a th two three four channel or five channel but then I actually bought a ton of components but then I'd have to design a PCB I thought I'd show you one of the easiest methods of getting sound to light from an electret microphone so this is nearly the finished unit but the microphone here I found some royalty free music on YouTube it's not fantastic to demonstrate this some of my own music is actually you know, my own music seems to highlight the treble and the bass this free music doesn't so much but I'll leave you with the demonstration if you want to make your own sound to light system that's one way of doing it hopefully you found this helpful thanks for watching